We are children of the world. Just getting right on into it. All right. Well, we have, well, we have to. We have to do picks. We'll do picks. Okay. Because you know, I I have to put the uh, title on the line as well as all other CT Live. I don't have to. We're yep. one week away from No Man's Land. Yep. So welcome everyone to IWS Prideful Entertainment and Bink Live present. CT Live, episode 32. Ha! I don't know why I said ha. I don't know why you... Let's get ready to run You're freaking weird though, yeah, yeah. Real fires into the rare. It's nice and only know how to wear. The state is right we're bringing you to. God, you just like I missed my cue. You threw your phone. Oh, We're in yeah. Portland, Oregon. All right, at least it's not Liverpool. You, it you, is. I'm not so angry. Hateful. I am not angry about the Liverpool. So hateful. So hateful right now. Right. So I got your chat on my laptop as well as you have your chat on your laptop. Should anyone appear in my actual channel, I have. Uh oh. Oh shit, going down out there. Yeah, hold on. Damn it. Of course. Yep. I have to go deal with that now. That's all right. Go save Bobby. It's not Bobby. I probably have to save. It. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ooh, hostility. Hostility on the outside. That's what that is. That's what this is. It's gonna be mine, though. It's gonna be mine. This is gonna be mine. Right here. This nameplate. It's just gonna be removed. And it's gonna say Iron Hobbit. That's what's gonna happen. Alright, so. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Did I share... Did I share this one? I shared the wrong one, but it's okay. All right. All right. I kissed the title. Don't touch my Ow, title. Don't touch me. I'm, I'm the champion. I can do what I want. That's uh, what you, the last champion said. Yeah, yeah, well... I'm going to be champ again. All right, so we got a hell of a show um, today because we do. Welcome to the chat, Onyx, the gaming machine, ever loyal fan. Uh, starting up now. We didn't even do our picks. Well, we got a loading screen, don't we? So let's do our picks. I don't know the card. I got the card right here. Is it, is it really? Is it up to date? It is up to date. Are you sure? It is. Who's this guy? Who's that guy? This is our first uh, it's promo. Uh, Owen Omega, our debut. Uh, um, a, a fan, actually. Uh, part of the IWS universe. Uh, it is uh, created by fan Jovi Jovi Binks. Oh. Um, uh, character Owen Omega is making his debut tonight in a promo. Um, on, to, so, on the show? Yeah, so I'm, I'm interested cool. to hear what he has to say. Um, but our first match we're going to vote on is not that because that's last week. I was week. about to say, that looks like an old It is guard. going to be Alyssa Storm versus... Uh, oh, you need to plug in your, your thing. Yeah, I don't think I brought my cord. Uh-oh. Did I bring my cord? Uh-oh. Uh, oh, uh -oh. it's out there. All right, so... I am totally oh, unprepared, yep, but yes, I did. I'm pretty sure Melissa I did bring Unless Storm it. Sophia Tolos? Yes. Well, I'm going Tolos again. The, the card. Uh, I have to say, I think I'm going Alyssa Storm this week. Ooh. Backwards. All right. Okay. Oh, look at that. I've got... Some I got some. Yeah, Onyx put uh, my uh, my personal symbol in the chat. Yeah, because you're gonna lose that title. Psst. No, it. no. Enjoy it while it lasts, sir. You won't have it long. All right. Well, All right. 
should, we're, we should... Equipment has been plugged in. Okay, good. We won't Kevin done it up again. We won't Kevin done it up. It's good. All it's right, good. so... Should I hit the thing? Are you ready yeah, with, the, with we're, his, we're, uh, queued up, is his music queued up? We're trying to find my mouse, but yes, his music is ready. Okay. Your mic's all the way over there. Found it. There it is. All right. Owen Omega. I'm trying to see what his armband says. He can't really make that out. Oh. Well, we have to hear a little bit of that theme. A little bit. I, I mean, what's been keeping him up all night? I mean, I I'm guess. interested. Yeah. I'm interested to know. He hasn't been winning matches. I Not mean, in, in other organizations. Not here. I, I mean, that's all that really matters. Yeah. Is the IWS. That's what matters here. We applaud your, your accomplishments outside of our organization, I, but... I agree. Oh! oh wait. Hold on. Oh. He's calling out the man called Fate. Wait, hold on. I mean, we haven't had a decent competitor for that. I mean, Fate's basically taken that title. And and he's held it. He's held it strong through all through this road to no man's land since he's won it. I mean, ooh, and he's, Fate. Fate's not one to back down from a challenge. Well, I, I, I have to wonder, does Owen Omega have any idea what he's getting himself into? I don't know. I don't know. I There's mean, Illuminati symbols, Dana clones in my chat. Just, like, all kinds of craziness going on here. So much. So much craziness. So, Fate definitely has the height advantage over uh, Owen here. Oh. Sounds like Fate is readily answering his challenge. Ah, uh, it sounds like it. I think Fate understands how this works with the higher ups and no uh, during this this road to no man's land. That it it is anybody who they think is gonna beat the champion, they're gonna throw them in the match. Oh yeah. Whatever that symbol is. Ramen? Ramen. Ramen cups. Capu. I don't know what Kapu is. Oh, they are uh, ramen noodle cups. Yeah, and uh, Fate is definitely pretty much answering the challenge of Owen from Owen Omega. I think we might see a match here between. I them tonight. think we might. I'm. Hold on. The higher ups aren't even waiting for them to finish. The higher ups are saying it's happening. There's going to be a match. There is a match. Fate was already scheduled for a match. His opponent will be Owen Omega tonight. There we go. Simple and clean. I don't know if it'll be simple and clean. I don't know. The higher ups are telling me it's an extreme rules match. That's uh, if it's for the hardcore championship, it's definitely going it, to be hard. You know it is. Yeah. Every title's on the line. Every, every title, even this one, which is mine. Coming home. Coming home. Welcome to the chat, Illusion Television. Hello. And that is awesome that you are doing something similar there in Italy. And in fact, uh, we would, uh, uh, you should probably get with uh, the higher ups, i.e., um, whisper to me on, on, uh, on Twitter, Twitch, 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 or hit me up on Twitter, either one. Um, 
at, that's at, at Iron Hobbit 7. Yep. Um, and we can discuss cross-branding, because, man, that would be awesome. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, by the way, welcome to the chat. Thanks for joining us. And if you like what you see here, please give us support. We would love the support here at Pride for Entertainment. Smack talk coming from Ooh. Omega, calling fate a loudmouth windbag. I, I mean, maybe he's trying to get a little bit under the uh, the uh, hardcore champ's skin. I think so. He's trying. Calling him a bully. I wouldn't call fate a bully. I, I, I mean. As as someone who has been bullied in the past, um, <clears throat> Illuminati, uh, <clears throat> being I, what? Um, I can say I don't think Bink is actually or, or uh, uh, Fate is a bully. Definitely not. You, on the other hand, sir, are a bully. I'm you one, and every person in Liverpool. I'm the one that had to wear a neck brace. You hit you, me with a chair. You physically I hit you assaulted with this me. Folder. You physically you assaulted me. You have weak me. bones. It gave me whiplash. Weak bones. I had to wear that for like a month. Fate is blunt. Onyx the gaming machine says in chat that is an understatement. Blunt would be the nice way to describe Fate's uh, interesting personality. Our next match, though, our first match. I should say, is Alessa Storm versus Sophia Tolis. We are pushing through today because yeah. we got a nice late start, unfortunately. Uh, with, so, with that being said, we made our first pick. I picked Alyssa Storm. You picked Sophia Tolos. I did. Uh, not a title match, so it's only one point each. Our next match uh, beyond that is Tangola okay. versus the franchise for the IWS tag team titles. Uh Oh, yay. I'm going to go franchise on that. All right, and I'm going to go... Um, you have an Franchise as well, point. actually. Yes. Oh. Hold on. Hello? Uh, yes. Yeah, I just put it... I just wrap it and put it in a bag separate. Oh, usually they get like 11... Yeah, they're all foot longs. Yeah, usually they have like eleven. Okay. Okay. All right. So do I. Alright, <laughs> so, uh, our next match, if it's not... Oh, it's done loading. It's done loading. It's done loading. Alright. My right. Sean Connery. All right. It's my Sean no, Connery. That's it's terrible. It's, stop, it's it. stop it. And now stop I'm not going to stop it till I get my stop title it. back. Alright, we're going to start the thing. Don't Kevin I can only blame don't myself. Kevin, don't, don't Kevin Dunn. Welcome to Kevin Dunn show. Welcome, Ace Ranger. Hello. Welcome. Welcome, Ace Ranger O2. Hey, you're Kevin Dunning the music. It's your pick for the match. It is my pick for the match. Yeah, I, I must have hit the, 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 the wheel. There we go. There that we should go. be fine. That should be fine. That should be fine. Hopefully. If the music is hard to hear over anything, or we're hard to hear over anything, Please, I might. Let us I am loud. I am loud Please. like the sun. But if any audio issues do occur, let us know in the chat. And we'll try to get them addressed as quickly and as soon as possible. But yeah, we see former women's champion, Alyssa Storm. Both of these women in this match are former uh, women's champions. Yeah. Current champion. It is Melandra Sokolov, uh, two weeks running now. Yeah. She just successfully defended it. She tweeted the job as Oshel Mo Roxanne last week. I, honestly, I didn't think she was going to win it in the beginning of it. 
I, I didn't mean, you know, we both picked Melandra as the uh, uh, more dominant choice in that one. Oh, yeah. Now we prepare for the... The sweet, sweet, sweet tea of the uh, Illuminati. Sweet, uh, Sophia T. Little Tolos. sweet the, the, Sophia. You dated the woman. What the hell? You don't even know how to pronounce her name? I got photographic evidence. Don't even try it. With tape and crayons. Hey, I spent Scott hours tape. in a dumpster to get that photo. Hours cutting out our faces from other photos and pasting them on some I swear other random I did not fucking... use Photoshop. That is for sure. The honest truth. Yeah. No yeah. Photoshop Definitely was used in that. It did not look like it was a. It looked like it was a hundred percent. You did it in the freaking glue and tape. And only thing it was missing was glitter. Hey, look! If there had been glitter flying around out there near the dumpster when I took that photo, I would have gotten the glitter in the photo. But there was no glitter in that dumpster for me to. I mean. There was no glitter right. flying around the right. hearts that were above your head. Anyway, let's... Oh, Sophia taking it right to Alyssa Storm. Alyssa, that was an interesting flip. Uh, Both of these women know each other very well. This aggressive start by Sophia doesn't make me happy. I, I picked uh, Alyssa. Though I honestly think that uh, Alyssa has got Sophia's number in this match. I don't, uh, I don't know. Sophia, oh. Oh. That might wow, what an elbow. She's trying to build some momentum now. Big back body I'm not drop. sure any of that's out of desperation. Maybe out of anger and frustration. Maybe. You can all up. You can, oh, what's she going for? Oh. oh tornado DDT. You can always put Illuminati symbols to show your support for any Illuminati member in the chat. Oh! Whoop. Oh, Sophia grabbing the arm and, and, and deflecting that. Took too wow. much time. Oh, Sophia going for the quick pin. One, only getting the one count. Oh, my mouth boot. is dry from arguing with you. A boot right to the face. Wow. And Sophia showing Alyssa how the punch is done. Look at this dirty, underhanded maneuver by Sophia Tolos. I thought wow. the Illuminati had changed their ways. You know, th these two these two have a bitter feud going on between them right now. I think There's No Man's Land of... has changed a lot of... Uh, talent here in the IWS. Cole Thomas has gone down a dark path. Uh, These two women are just we've... literally trying to kill each other. Right. Times. Sophia's gone back to her uh, underhanded ways. We've seen the, the not a fractured, but a separate Brent Tolos and Jason Flipper. Yeah. Um, you know, and there's so and many others. This, Alyssa Storm with this new vicious Blatant streak. choking. What the hell is the ref doing? Ref letting a lot slide in this match. He should have already disqualified Sophia for taking that that that, that turnbuckle off, and it should have already been Alyssa Storm's uh, 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 pinfall. The ref is not doing Victory. his job. He needs to f fire that guy. Oh, Sophia dropped right into a pin. Didn't even get a one count. Uh oh, he's got she's got Alyssa on her shoulders. Ooh. Uh, so H Ranger is new to CT Live. He's never actually joined us here for CT Live. Welcome. Um, so to uh, give you a quick rundown here of how this works, uh, CT Live is a fantasy wrestling show. Uh, Bink and I commentate to the matches. All of the matches are computer generated. Wow, what a move off the top rope! That's that's usually damn it. That is not. I was about to say that's usually a prelude to her finishing the match. It might that. be. Oh man, come on, Alyssa. This is my. I need my title back. Oh, man. Come on, Alyssa. This is staying with its creator now and forever. So, oh, oh a pop-up spear. I told you these two women 
No! Sophia's had to pull out so much new stuff. Oh. She almost got it. But so, anyway, as you were saying. Yes, so we commentate the matches. They are all computer simulated. Uh, simulated. 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 Uh, we do not know the outcomes of any of the matches. We do it all live right here. All of the talent that you see is all custom talent designed by you out there in the IWS universe. Um, including the guy you saw in his uh, opening debut promo. promo. And we'll see later this afternoon in a match against the hardcore champion Fate for the hardcore title, Ooh. Owen Omega. Uh, thank you, Jovi Jovi Binks. Uh, for yep. that character and all of the other character designers, all of the other um, creators out there whose talent we use for CT Live. Agreed. Oh, it's just a slap right to the face of Melissa Storm. There's Bye. Again. Phone, I don't need you. You are not important. What's important is that Sophia Tolos taps out right here. I don't. I don't know that one leg Boston Crab. Nope. Nope. Nope, did not happen. Did I am not very, happen. very, I want my title back. I want my title back so I can taste it. I can taste it in the back of my throat. You can taste the cardboard? I can taste the salt the cardboard? in the back of my, ugh. Made me, forced me to defend my title last week. It is no man's land, and every IW. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. That is un Alyssa Storm going in for a pinfall. One, two, two, two and a half. Two and a half, two and a half. This title, it's saying right here, right here, right here, right now. Uh oh. And Alyssa with a little bit of showboating. Yes, we do use the 2K18 game. I did upgrade. We initially used the 2K16 game when we started. Uh, you can, in the uploads section of the channel here at Prideful Entertainment, you can find some of our uh, classic IWS uh, shows as oh. well as our YouTube channel, Prideful Entertainment. Uh, you can find all of our CT Live episodes from the very start. Yep. Oh, let's just storm. Going using, the ropes. using the ropes to her advantage. Two. two. Only it. getting a two count again. These two, like these two women, they know each other back and forth, left and right. Whoop! Uh oh, Alyssa's setting up Sophia in the tree of woe. I'm pretty sure he gets it on it. Oh! Sophia with just like a pretty much. I'm a, pretty sure he gets it. A stunner out of nowhere. Oh, Sophia finally taking advantage of that exposed turnbuckle. Or you gave it to him, one or the other. I don't know what's going on. I want my title back. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Mm. Now, Alyssa Storm going in for a pin after that. Oh! Woo. Wow. Oh, and now... Just wrenching on the neck, slowing down the pace of this match. Oh, that is also pretty cool. That is awesome. I am going to give that a check out. Uh, if you whisper your, your uh, or you, you know what, you feel free to put that in the uh, chat if you want to advertise your channel. I am interested in checking that out. I and I well. would gladly promote in this episode uh, your channel. Agreed. So please, put it in the chat so that everybody can see. And check out uh, Illusion Television's uh -oh. uh, show as well. I would love, absolutely, to collaborate uh, oh, with you guys. Oh, a package stunner. And Alyssa, uh, Alyssa Storm in a bad position right now. Sophia going for that reverse oh. 450. We've seen her win titles and no. take women down no. with that. Come on, Alyssa. One, no. two, three. Damn it. That is one point for me. Title's looking like it's getting ever and ever so far and far away, isn't it? It's only one point. 
It's only one point. Ah, there we go. There All you right. go. I'm going to follow that right now. Come on, there we go. Boom. I also have followed. They, their organization is called the ICW. Awesome. The Illusion Championship Wrestling. Wrestling. Absolutely, definitely, sir. If you guys would love to get with us and collaborate, we would love to cross brand. We even have a major event that we do once a year called One Night Only, where we collaborate with uh, talent from every organization imaginable. Um, and we bring them all together in one show to face the best of the best. Yes, agreed. All right, let's get ready for the next match. Which is Tangola versus the franchise. We voted on that one, yes? Yes. We both voted on franchise. We both went franchise. Uh, the match following this is Kiyoshi Sato versus Astro Domenico. Ooh. That is a matchup we have not seen before. No, it is not. Astro actually pulling up a major win against Cole Thomas in that over-the-top yeah, that Battle was a, that was an amazing, very surprise win. So, as m you know, as much as he's got the momentum on him, I think I'm gonna go with Kiyoshi. Yeah. Because I think Kiyoshi is he's got pretty much the heart right now behind him. I, I think I'm gonna have to go with uh, Astro. I mean, he he beat Cole Thomas. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, a few extra people have been able to claim that as of late now. Brent Tolos. Being the first to, to claim the position of Dragon Slayer. Speaking of which, our main event, we could possibly still see Brent Tolos versus Cole Thomas at... Uh, no Man's No Land. Man's Land. Yes, I'm completely, That's... completely in minimal directions. As so, um, again, let's get another vote in before the loading screen stops. Owen, our next, uh, our fourth match are, has been slotted. Owen Omega versus Fate for the uh, IWS Hardcore title. It is an Extreme Rules match. I, I can't, I, you know, I'm going Fate. I, I, I'm going Owen Omega. I think this guy is going to take Fate by surprise. Fate's got no preparation for this one. Yeah, but yeah. And if uh, Owen Owen sounds like he knows, I mean, he could be watching Fate's uh, matches, knowing what he was planning on doing here, uh, uh, getting himself booked into the IWS. I mean, knowing who he planned on calling out. It's very true. Uh, but with it being for the Hardcore Championship, there's no DQ, so therefore it's only for one point. That is true. So we move on to the next match. What's the next match? Um, the quick. next match is Sam Snyder versus Noah Danger. Uh, ooh, Sam Snyder is new here, so I don't know much about him. I'm I, He's only had one or two matches here in the he's, IWS. He's lost his one match. I'm going with Noah Danger on that one. I was also going to go Danger. And that's where we will stop our voting until after this match. So we've got, like, the next... Four matches. I think we got like two more. Yes. All right. Yeah, That's we've got the main event and and uh, or yeah, the last two, the women's and the IWS title match. There we go. And you know, as much as the higher ups don't like it, I'm still gonna call these guys the Wild Samoans. And I. Don't look at me in that tone of voice. Crap. It's you know, I know they signed on as Tangola, but they are there are a couple no. of wild no. Samoans if you, no. if you ask me. And if it's helping them get closer to those tag team championships. I'm pretty sure this is for number one contendership for no man's land, is it? Or is it not? No, this is for the tag team titles. Oh. This is Tangola versus the franchise. Oh, that's right. The franchise that's took right. the titles from Hype last week. I forgot.
champions taking a moment to come out. There they are. There they are. The new IWS Tag Team Champions. Look at those side blades. Beautiful. They finally got themselves a nice logo. What an interesting logo that is. They're very nice. Kind of reminiscent of the, uh, the, the Euro. Yeah, uh, the, the symbol for the Euro. I mean, they, they, they do enjoy... Uh, Bert, Bert is... Uh, Bert Sullivan. Is actually from Dayton, Ohio. Uh, but they both come from big uh, corporate families who own large businesses over in Europe. Oh, so that see. doesn't surprise okay. me that they made their fortune in Europe. In the Euros. Of course. Hey, sometimes you got to franchise out to other countries. And Zachary from Norfolk, Virginia, um, weigh uh, 6 foot, 800, uh, 186 pounds. Thanks for the support. Sorry for my bad English, says Illusion Television. It's alright. Your English is great, sir. If you You're not from Liverpool, so I can give... Oh. Why you have to hate on everyone from Liverpool? You know why. Just because you know why we've been over this. Just because you don't like the British sensation Jason Williams. I don't like the British sensation. That is no because secret. he is an amazing athlete. He is a piece of. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway. So before you, you know, this is for the IWS Tag Team Titles, and that was the challengers, Tangula, aka the Wild Samoans. And they are taking on the team of Zachary Reynolds and Burt Reynolds. Zachary Reynolds and Burt Sullivan. Oh, oh excuse me. See, Bert see, Sullivan. and this is why I have to make sure that I'm here every week for the commentating. You can't get it right. Exactly. Actually, and they call you the face I, of the IWS, of CT Live. I'm not the voice. That's true. And that is also not going to be yours by the end of this show. And that may very well be those... I think it is going to be those men. Those men right there by the end of this match. And we are starting off... Burt Sullivan is going to We've start off this match before. with KO. We've seen... Is it KO? It is KOA. KOA. K-O-A. KOA. Yeah. KOA. We've seen this match before, and oh. the franchise did not fare well against... Tangola. No, no, they have not so far. Tangola has managed to one up the franchise every time they faced each other. But the franchise, wow! Burt with amazing agility taking the bigger man off of his feet. Finding some new momentum, as I was saying, uh, since taking out hype. Ooh, wow! It's like a corkscrew neck breaker. I oh, waited oh, maybe waiting oh. too long, letting the bigger man just I just wow. I was about to say the Simones are known for having their hard you know hard heads, so I don't know. That might have been just enough to wake him up. Now Bert bringing Ko Koa over to the yeah Koa yeah no Tio. That's Tio? One, that one's Tio. This one's Tio? Yeah, the red hair's Tio. Okay. Remember, red hair's Tio. Wow, Tio getting the upper hand now against Sullivan. Sullivan needing to make that tag to, to Reynolds. Right there next to his corner. He sh you'd think he'd just be able to do it, but... Oh! oh! Tio taking a risk and it not paying off. Maybe telegraphing uh -oh. out a little too much there. And now being set up in a very precarious position. I, th I think this is a bad choice by uh, um, Burt Sullivan. He should have made the tag to Zachary Reynolds. I, I don't think he should have just put him up there on that trio low. I think he should have made that tag. And now Burt going up to for something high risk. Uh-oh. Pointing at him. Pretty much calling for something. Whoa! Her can run off the top rope, pretty much. Interesting new move set here from Burt Sullivan. Yeah, Burt usually has been more of a technical wrestler. This is a high-flying, fast-paced offense style we haven't seen from him. It, it very much is. Oh! Ooh. Now he, he 
desperately needs to make a tag to Zachary Reynolds. Oh. Wow, did you see that big man fly? He, he flew from across the ring. Oh man, Koa. What? Wow, wow. Amazing agility from the, the large Samoan man. And now he's got Sullivan on his back with ease. Oh, and then drives him his shoulders right into the top turnbuckle. Uh-oh. So as we were as we were speaking earlier about cross branding uh, here with Illusion Television, um, the Wild Samoans, as you call them, Tangola, is actually cross branded with uh, Grown Folks Wrestling, which is the uh, uh, organization that they originally came from. Um, so we are proud to have them here on IWS oh, Live. Wow, he just spit some mist. sort of green, like, Kool-Aid, I think. I don't know what it some was. Some sort of mist in his it face. It looked like Kool-Aid to me. He's been holding Kool-Aid in his mouth. I don't know. The but, crowd oh, is... In. Oh, no. Both men taking it hard. Sullivan. Sullivan's hardest. not moving. He's not moving. We've said it a few times, those mats are not very thick. They're very thin. Wow. Koa taking it to the one half of the tag team champs, Burt Sullivan. This may not be the best of ideas from the Wild Samoans. Five. They cannot win the championships as... No, if, if Sullivan gets counted out even, it may be a win for Tangola, but it is not a title offense, and it does not guarantee that they will get their match again at No Man's Land. In fact, rumor has it that regardless of who wins this match, the sensational aristocrats oh, will... Tangola. Oh, Coming up with the win. I mean, Down these guys victory. are big, but I don't think they're very smart. No, we both get one point off of that because franchise retained. What a what an interesting development there. Just wow. Wow. So, still remaining the tag team, the IWS tag team champs, the franchise, Tangola picking up the win by disqualification. Again, I don't think those guys are very smart. And with that I'm, being said, I hope I don't get jumped backstage again. Probably. Um, no, but no. But we both only got one point off of that. Because I, uh, I am still going to beat you. Uh, you're still down by one point. By only I, one I'm, point, it's one point. I have two points, and you have one. Speaking of... Up, oh, he went live. Hey, you got a schedule to keep. You got a schedule to keep, it's, man. It's understandable. And we we understand that here. That's honestly that's one of the, th the reasons we're trying to push through this so quickly. Yeah, because we are an hour behind our schedule. So yeah, uh, we are making pretty good progress. We are. With that being said, um, our last, next pick, last one we voted on was Noah Danger, Sam Snyder, right? Yes. Uh, next, our, our sixth match of the uh, show is going to be Jennifer V versus Melandra Sokolov for the IWS women's title. I'm, I'm going V. I'm going V, too. You're I going... mean, no, I'm going a lot. I'm going Melandra. I, I, I changed my pick completely. I'm going Melandra. Okay. I, I already see it in my head. Melandra's taking the win. Sokolov? Sokolov's taking the win. All right. And that's, uh, retention... That's retention and win. Okay. I as well will say that Valeria is just going to win it. She's going to win it and the title. No DQ. But we await the... Oh, here's the arrival of Kyoshi. My pick for this match... Finally, with his own theme music, Kiyoshi Sato comes out to the ring. Has not actually caught his stride here as of late. Not 
not for a lack of trying, but he just hasn't been able to catch his stride. I'm impressed with what I've seen with Kiyoshi, and, and just like you said, not able to catch his stride, hasn't been able to get that big win yet. This could be it, though. I mean, beating Astro Domenico uh, could be that win to pump him into a title match. getting his first win. Oh. Speaking of Astro Domenico. There he comes out. Beating Cole Thomas in an over-the-top battle royal match. Epic, I guess you could say, his entrance music is. Yeah. And I want to thank Free Play Music, Ben Sound Music, and all of the uh, ocremix.org for all of the music that you hear here on CT Live. Well, and we are already starting this match. Kiyoshi going right in against Astro. Wow. Not even hesitating. No, right with a brain Higher buster. ups agree that we needed to get this pushed through um, as quick as possible. Whoop. Oh, Kiyoshi trying to take a cheap shot as, as Astro uh, attempts to climb to his feet. Kind of did. Got him right across the chest. And now just mashing his head into the top turnbuckle. Hey, you know, sometimes that's what you need to get that upper hand. And like we were just saying, Kiyoshi's trying to find that big win. Um, now, my pick here is Astro. Honestly, I don't think this is Kiyoshi's time. I think Astro is going to do exactly what he did against Cole Thomas, and he's going to pick out the big, huge upset win in this match. Probably. Uh, Up and over goes Kiyoshi. Well, this is what Astro has to do oh. to keep the momentum on his side. Wow, he bounced off of Astro's shoulder there with the back of his neck. He did. And now, oh, that quick DDT. Beautiful springboard. Oh, that was a beautiful springboard moonsault. Almost graceful. It was very graceful, actually. He even oh. looked, he even went at an angle. There was nothing graceful about that. No, that was just a stiff kick right to the side of the head. Uh-oh. Referee holding back Astro. Kiyoshi, though, taking advantage. Snap suplex. Unfortunate for Astro Domenico. And, oh! Big face buster there. Kiyoshi uh, taking the momentum now in the match. And another brain buster. Looking to go high risk here. Second rope. Calling for something. Astro's getting up. He's very groggy. Oh, missile ah. drop kick right to the head. Come on, Astro. I'm a, my title's on the line. Figure four from Kiyoshi right now. Ooh. Oh, wow. Quickly ending that submission move. You know, it's not pretty, but it'll break that hold. Nope, oh, Astro in for the pin, only getting a one count. Now trying to keep Ki uh, wow. Kiyoshi off balance. Oh! Went high risk and missed. Beautiful high risk maneuver, but Kiyoshi rolling out of the way. Though it, it, it seems like Astro, Astro just back and forth and manages to get the upper hand no matter what Sato uh -oh. seems to do. Uh -oh. What is they going to do what here? Is Domenico? Oh, oh my God. God. And Domenico right up to his feet. And again. And back to that uh, uh, 
those elbows right to the head. Trying to keep Sato disoriented. A lot of shots to his head. Yep. Oh, Kiyoshi, though, able to counter a little bit. Uh, I have to quote you here. I think that was out of desperation. Very true. Oh. And there again, the reversal from Astro Domenico. Yep, again, just keeping Kiyoshi off balance. Astro Domenico tweeting out earlier this week that the IWS CT Live better watch out because he has huge, big, astronomical plans for the future. Oh boy, it's, it'll be interesting to see what we get out of Astro Domenico in the future. But right now he has to get through Kiyoshi Sato. Whoa. Oh! Hand, wow, what hands, a stunner! Handspring stunner, and yes, you can go ahead and soak up that admiration after that. Sato trying to crawl to the ropes. Uh, just wow I think he has been outclassed here by uh, Astro Domenico I, I can all I mean you can only hope that he can just pull out a, a sneak win here maybe not after that backbreaker though no this could be it that this is the tie this is the tie nope. that wait this, one two, two three. three I am tied for that title it is coming home baby coming home Two to two. Two to two. Astro Domenico picking up the win here. Yeah, oh. Wait, hold on. Oh, oh. Astro putting out his hand. Sato. Wow. Very good show of respect between these two men. I mean, truthfully, I can't see why. Sato didn't really hold a bar to him. But, no. You know. I mean, I guess you can give... give uh, Astro is, uh, is just dues. I would have kicked him in the face. You would. You'd see the opportunity and be like, oh, well, I'm not passing this up. Anyway, while this is loading up our... While we get ready for our IWS Hardcore match, we should uh, make our pick for the main event. For the main event. The main event is a fatal four-way for the IWS World Wrestling title. Jason Legend will defend against Brent Tolos, Rashad Wyatt, and Ace Campbell. Wow. Man, talk about the odds being stacked against him. One of those four men will go one-on-one -on -one with the Dragon next week at No Man's Land. I don't know. That's a rough lineup. You know, I... I you know, I think it might actually be Jason Legend. I'm going with Brent Tolos on this one. Oh, wow. I want to see it. I want to see it so bad. Brent Tolos versus Cole Thomas 2. That would be just great. An angry, prepared Cole Thomas instead of the egotistical Cole Thomas that I honestly think he just over or underestimated Brent Tolos' capability. I don't know. I don't know. I think he was just—he was overconfident. Is his problem? He was just going in the match, thinking he already had I, one. That's what I said. I think and... he just uh, just underestimated Brent Tolos completely. Oh yeah. yeah. And uh, I think another match with them would be amazing. I am absolutely ready for this. And this, as a reminder, is for the Hardcore Championship here at IWS. Current champion Fate has held the championship strong since Anarchy rules. He has not let that championship go. What an amazing streak that is here. It is the longest Hardcore streak. Now coming out... In total, he's held that title 46 weeks. Well, probably 47 now. Almost 50 weeks. Out 
Outlaw Owen Omega. That is true. Oh. And his music has hit. The hardcore champion. The man called, called fate. fate. He's always ready to fight someone too. And never turns down a challenge for the title. No, he has it once. Gotta give him props for that. Heel or face, I don't care where you stand. The man called Face is a champion here in the IWF. He is a fighting champion. Honestly, one of the few we've actually had here in the IWF. And we've had quite a few champions we here have. in the IWF. We have. And there it is. The hardcore championship. Oh, I'm ready for this. I am interested to see newcomer here, Owen Omega, versus one of the best champions we have had here in the IWS. Some call him the gatekeeper of the IWS. Oh, uh, that, that is a great name there. Pretty much like most of the newcomers usually go through fate. You know? So in a way, he's become the gatekeeper of the IWS. Kind of just staring down Owen at the moment. Oh, yeah. Kind of giving him the eyeball. But that's what it's about right there. That is what it's all about. Well, at least this match. That's what this match is about. It's not what it's all about. What it's all about is the IWS World Championship. I know, some people... Some people tend to disagree on that, that the hardcore, some people say that the hardcore championship, that the, that the competition for that is hotter at the moment than the competition for the IWS title, especially since Cole Thomas monopolized the belt for such a long time. Oh, oh. wow, I almost spit my coffee all over the mic. <laughs> you would have been cleaning it up, goddammit. Anyway, that what a move. Yeah, Fate, though, tossing Owens. Like you said, Owen. Owen oh. uh, then a headbutt, just a quick headbutt. Smaller than Fate. Yeah, Fate definitely has the size advantage, which means he's probably got the strength advantage. I, I mean, I picked Owen here. I kind of expected Fate to be unprepared for this. It looks like Owen... You are correct. Owen had no idea what he was getting into. Fate. Challenging oh, already bringing in the, the hardcore toys. champ. Good, smart maneuver. Fate throwing Fate, it at him. Fate though. even tossing the weapon at his feet as if to say, come, bring it. Oh, no. wow. That was a beautiful. Euro I think I kicked wrong like, on this one. A spinning European uppercut right there. That might have been out of desperation. But it looks like Omega is finally getting a, an oh. idea of how this is supposed to go. Ooh, oh, taking God. a second shot on Fate's head and throwing the chair on, on him. Fate lit a fire under the young man. Yeah, I think I, that kendo shot to the head and, uh, awaken something within Omega. And again, this is uh, Owen Omega's debut match here in the IWS. Thank you, Jovi Jovi Binks, for the character. Uh, we have many more debut characters coming in the months to come, uh, including our already announced uh, Rumble in the Jungle entrant. 
Ricky Stamos. Ricky Stamos. Ricky Stamos, the superstar. Superstar. I don't know if that's how he says it, but that's how I'm going to say it. But Ace Ranger actually brought a sign that says, this is my sign. I love that sign. It's a good sign. That is an amazing sign. I love that sign. And that's his sign? That's his sign. He brought right. that to the IWS CC Live show. I am so glad that you brought that to the show, sir. And I appreciate it that you labeled it your sign. And de and, and definitively made it different from everybody else's sign. Yeah, it's your it's your that's it's yours. Your sign. Oof, and now fate just throwing Omega around oh. the outside area of the the ring. And back to that chair. Oh no, that was right to the face. And then he throws it on the back of Owen. Oh no. And fate that those DDTs. He's he's been trained by the best, the master of the DDT himself. Oh, eating steel steps. Ooh. This action is is so close to our camera right now. It's right in our face. Wow. Fate just throwing him around the outside ring area. Using that size and weight difference uh, to his advantage. Fate, 6'5", 262 pounds, a heavyweight in all right. And Mr. Owen Omega is 5'10", and 175 pounds. A cruiser Definitely weight. a cruiserweight here. Um, I don't know what he was thinking. See, oh. Oh, my God. Right through the turnbuckle area. I mean, you had to come into this match thinking that you were going to out-hardcore fate. I can't believe I put my money on you, Owen. Get in there and do something. Yeah, he's about to. He's about to get pinned. Look at this. Referee going in for the pin. One, two, three. Omega, <laughs> not able to come up with the win, but that puts me back ahead, three to two. Woo, woo, it's back and forth. It's back and forth right now. I'm starting to get a little sweaty. <laughs> There's the purple flames that have, uh, have been associated with uh, fate as a blade here on Twitch. I, uh... I just want to point out that it was horseshit that I had to defend the title last week in any way, shape, or form. I should not be trying to take my title back right now. I, I should not. I, I the higher-ups... I... Mm. I I just would like to point out in reference to that, I had no problem putting the title on the line this week. I was ready, willing, and able. I am fighting champion. That gimmick line's already taken. I don't care. Next match. We've already got our, our boats out of the way. Well, good. Uh, uh, we're going to take the time to uh, spend this loading screen doing a little bit of... Um, Shilling. Shilling, thank you. Uh, I want to thank everyone who uh, helps make CT Live possible. Myself here, uh, the Bink Deadpool um, character, and all of that aside, Bink, this could not be possible without him as well. I mean, it may air on, 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 my, nor on my normal channel, um, but all of this like would not be possible without him at my side. Not just for commentating, but for so many other reasons. So I, I have to absolutely thank Bink for helping make this uh, a reality for both of us. Because it was, you know, uh, something both of us really wanted to do. I want to thank everybody who has created all of the characters that you see out there. Thank you all of you guys for all of the hard work that you put into it. Everyone who have put out uh, their hard work into the music that you hear on here on CT Live. And everyone who watches... All of you guys in the chat, uh, out there being silent. You guys. Lur uh, you know, lurking. There. I see you back there. That guy lurking, lurking back there. We know I he's there. We know him. he's there. I see him. It's Thank you guys for being 
a part of this because yeah. without you, none of this would be possible. So thank you. And if you like what you see here, please give us support. Follow us here on Prideful Entertainment. And please, you can right below the stream, you can find a link to the Bink Deadpool's channel. Uh, please give Bink Live a follow as well. Awesome content coming from him's channel as well. Or if your pockets are truly lined with gold and you truly want to support both the Bink Live and IWS, you can subscribe to my channel. A small portion of the funds that go to, to my subscriptions help out with uh, IWS CT Live here. So. Um, so yeah, and also you can follow us on Twitter, get updates on a daily basis to what we're doing. Um, that is at Iron Hobbit 7 for Pride for Live Entertainment and at The Bink Live for The Bink Deadpool. Uh, that's actually more the one that just like gets my follow, my likes and stuff from YouTube. Oh, and my so retweets. it's so at The Bink Deadpool? At The Bink Deadpool on Twitter is like the easy one to get a hold of me. But... Be ready for the yes. next match. Yes. What does OTGM stand for? I, you know, I don't, I don't know. I don't, does anybody know? Does anybody know. know? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, they just, I just made the belt out of nowhere. So. So we are moving on, Sam. Sam Snyder. And yes, coming to the ring. Sam Snyder. A uh, thank you, Ace Ranger, for clarifying that. Is that is that really what it stands for? I think so. I mean, it makes sense. Isn't that a little on the nose? Maybe. Hmm. Okay. All right. But yes, we have perfect Sam Snyder. He believes that he is the most perfect competitor to ever grace the IWS ring. I, you know, he's got to pick up wins here for me to agree with that. Very true. At this point, his record... And I think he just shoved his face into that firework. I mean, he's wearing sunglasses, so I'm assuming he's all right. But yes, his win-loss record is anything but perfect at this point. That is true. It is not Roxanne's win-loss record. No. I, I believe uh, he was a part of that four-man over-the-top match. Was he, was he? He, he? I believe he was as well. Yes, he was part of that four-man over-the-top match. There was pretty much like two or three people that made their debut in that match. And Sam was one of them, losing to another debut uh, opponent in that match, Astro Domenico, who we saw earlier. Earlier. And Noah. I was say, yep, where's Noah's music? He should be coming out here in a second. We're looking at the entryway. Oh, there we go. There we are. The first ever IWS Hardcore Champion, Noah Danger. This guy has been in the IWS just as long as anyone else, debuting on our very first uh, show, which was the uh, IWS 2016 Tournament. Um, Which, at the end of it, determined our first IWS World Champion. Yep, absolutely. Uh, Noah did not win the tournament, but he definitely was a competitor and has moved through the ranks <clears throat> quite well since then. Oh, yes. He's also been, he is also our first ever Energy Rules Battle Royal winner. You can see Noah coming out quickly to the ring here, more so than usual. Um, I can't, I can't blame him, though. Uh, a lot of pressure for timing here in this episode. So, uh, moving on, oh. the match is starting. I, I, who did I pick? Noah? I think uh, I, I picked Noah. I believe we both picked Noah on this I one. That's a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a pretty good bet. Because uh, Mr. Perfect here, if you'll pardon the pun, uh, has been anything but perfect with only a one loss record here at IWS. Well, it means he's only had one match. And now he's got a one-on-one -on -one match with Noah Danger. So we'll see how he really fares 
uh, against that. Wow, Noah just throwing that. Wow. Yeah. Noah has Noah's been one of those contenders who's been known to go toe to toe with people. It's just he unfortunately always comes up a little short when it counts. Unfortunately. I, I we've seen uh, over the last few weeks we saw earlier um, uh, with uh, Kiyoshi and uh, um, uh, and also with Burt Sullivan. Um, Noah Danger here a little different. Uh, moves that we've seen before. You know, this here is normal Noah Danger. Beautiful suplex. Uh, but... Yeah, Noah's... Oh, things like that, just random springboard. We never saw well, Noah Danger no, do that before. Noah's always been more calculated and technical. He's high had, risk, possibly, but he's not... Had, yeah, he's mixed in high risk in his offense, but it's always been calculated high risk maneuvers. Seeing him throw out a, uh, a springboard like that out of nowhere is, like you said, unusual. But now we're starting to see the pace that Noah Danger is known for. This Absolutely. And that, again, like you said, and now the calculated assault. Wow, Noah looking to end this quick. It might be it. Whoa. Oh. Nope. He went for the danger line, and that was it. Oh, uh -oh. no. Uh -oh. Such perfect precision, precision right now. Just sending all the blood right to Noah's head. Trying to get your vision back. I mean, from that, trying to... to, to con trying you're, to you're reorient pain. yourself. You're out of breath. I mean, that was a... One. One, one only, though. Noah is a veteran, so... Sometimes all you have to do is feel the referee's hand hit the mat once and you're jumping back up. And we've not seen, like I said, this is the first one-on-one -on -one match we've seen with Sam. And we know what we're expecting out of Noah. I love that we're seeing a little variety out of Noah. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw it out there. Sam is legitimately everything he is, every move he has managed to actually pull off against Noah has, has been, been perfect. It has been perfectly executed. I will give him that. Even that, just deadlifting Noah Danger up and throwing him back. Wow. Right on Noah's nose with that one. Yep. Uh oh. Oh. Ooh. No showboating there, just a beautiful spine buster. Yeah. And it looks like he's setting up for something else now. Uh oh. Uh oh. Wow. wow. The perfect end, I believe he calls that. One, two, three. That's it, Sam. He just perfectly ended that point for both of us. Yep. And that means I am still one behind. Yep. Yeah, I am taking this up with the higher-ups. I should not have had to defend my title last week. So... I'm still up. Uh, OTGM is an affiliate of Prideful Entertainment and Bank Live. It is a separate company all to itself. Uh, it is run by Onyx the Gaming Machine. Um, the three co the three companies, so to speak, along with other members uh, who also uh, affiliate themselves with OTGM, um, uh, uh, Mr. Rumble Roses. I say, I.e. Mr. Rumble Roses. And there are a few that 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 uh, swagger in yeah. and come and go. Um, as they, you know, find other opportunities or just, you know. Absolutely. Uh, so, as a whole, we do things as a whole there. Um, we do things separate. Uh, but all in all, yeah, o OTGM is a supporter of Prideful Entertainment, uh, IWS, and The Bank Live. And we appreciate all of the support that he uh, and the company itself does give to us. But and now that I am done that with I finally got the music going. I know, right? Sam coming up with a big win here against Noah Danger. It'll be interesting to see what things we can see out of him in the future. What kind of of a perfect path can we see for Sam? in the upcoming weeks here at IWS. 
But yeah, so uh, as as the rest of the thoughts are spilling out into my head. Mm -hmm. So uh, to explain the belt, the OTGM title. The OTGM title was basically prideful, or I'm sorry, basically IWS's way of saying we appreciate the support that the OTGM company gives to us. So so we modeled a fake championship. On, on, it's yeah. only fake when you're wearing it. Mm. I am a real champion. It is made of cardboard and a back brace. I don't give a what it's made out of. And staples. Don't care what it's made out of. The staples hurt. This, as part of our double main event for the show, uh, the IWS Women's Championship will be defended by Melandra Sokolov against what a name, what a woman. Jennifer V. Jennifer Valeria. Wow. Pro I just... I mean, we have had some incredibly dominant women here in the IWS. Um, we miss you, uh, She Wolf Rabiki. Um, we've had Sophia Tolos and Alyssa Storm, who we saw earlier in the show. Um, Maya. Maya, and this woman here, Jennifer V. Just, so, just like the top. You know, these are the top women competitors that we've had here in the IWS. And that's to knock, not to knock any of our women competitors. But Melandra most certainly has her plate full in this title defense. Oh, yes. Uh, she may be undefeated at this point with a 3-0 and zero record. But she's going up against the woman who had the best few... Of 2006, uh, 2016, right? Or two, was it 2000? Yeah, it was 2016. With Maya. Yes. A best feud of 2016s. Men and women's. Period. Just flat out best feud of 2016. Just so brutal. Yeah. The woman who will be a part a, of a 30 minute Iron Woman match. At no no man's land next week against Maya Jennifer V. If she wins tonight, if she takes that title from Alondra Sokolov, it's going to be a 30-minute women's uh, Iron Woman match for the women's championship. What a hell of a match that's going to be! Even in the last week before our major event, there's still so much up in the air. I still have a feeling that there's like a few things we just will not know until the day of. Yeah, I honestly, I think there are a lot. I, the higher up are keeping a lot of their plans under wraps. They're keeping it very close to the chest. They're not even informing us, which is unusual because we we tend to, to get to know everything before it happens. You can tell Jennifer V standing here waiting for her opponent does not look very threatened by the fact that she is an undefeated woman who holds the women's championship right now. Jennifer V standing 5'6", 132 pounds from Athens, Greece. Uh, Melandra Sokolov, the much bigger woman, uh, standing at 5'9", 206 pounds from Moscow, Russia. I think Jennifer better at least recognize that this woman can hurt her. Oh, yeah. With that being said, this is going to be a hell of a fight. Yeah, I was about to say, you cannot put down the talent that is behind Jennifer V. She is she is also, let us not forget, the first ever IWS Women's Championship. This We could see her finally claiming her second IWS Women's Championship right now. We could. Two-time champion. Val uh, Jennifer V, I call her, almost called her Valeria, would love to be a two-time women's champion. Put her name up there with the likes of Sophia Tolos and Alyssa Storm. Storm. Melandra. Melandra looking to put her name up there with uh, the likes of Hype and and get those undefeated, you yeah, know. Undefeated title reign going. Hype was able to do it for at least, uh, I believe it was eight weeks before they actually finally lost their first match, which cost them their titles also. 
I lost their second their second match loss. Well, yeah. Um, Tangola beat them the first time. That's right. And then they lost to the franchise last week for the titles. For the titles. Uh, honestly, I think the loss to Tangola kind of really did them in. Ooh. Oh, what a slap to the Valeria. bigger woman. Valeria, not showing that she is intimidated by the larger woman. Wow. And remember, Maya has been shelved till next week as far as she is on the injured list because Jeez. of the match, the which went 15 minutes. It went half the time it was supposed to. Uh, just... But, we were seeing a great match, and, and uh, she managed to injure Maya during that match. So, Melandra better watch out. I don't think I don't think she cares whether she injures the champ to take the title or not. Oh, I don't think so. Ever since we've come we've come back from our small hiatus and she's rebranded herself as Jennifer V, there's been a, a bit more of an aggressive streak from uh, Jennifer. Well, you remember uh, if if you remember, uh, Jennifer V was unfortunately, and I I would say that both women won that rivalry. You know, as far as all of our hearts and just how we feel about them. But Maya got the upper hand at the end. Maya was the one that got the title championship title shot. Um, she did not win the title shot, but she did get the title opportunity after that huge rivalry. And you have to think that's probably still in the back of Jennifer's mind. And Knowing that's probably that, yes. part of the reason she injured Maya. Uh, it's very ago. possible. I mean, you got, you definitely got to think that that's what this new aggressive attitude is about. You know, all of that work, all of everything you put into it, still to come up on the upper hand or to come, come up, up on come up short. Exactly. Non-sponsored, by the way. Hashtag non-sponsored Dunkin' Donuts coffee. Oh, Sokolov missing with that drop kick or whatever it was. Being dead, pull Iron Hobbit and the IWS CT Live all run on Duncan. That's that's very true. But Sokolov now trying to slow down the pace a little bit. Whoa. Oof. <laughs> I don't. Oh, oh, oh God. Do you see the height on that? And that is a big woman, and I don't mean, yeah, you know, I mean that is that is that is that is a lot of woman to come down on you. That was a lot of height too. One, two. Ooh, not even a two. She kicked out just as the ref was gonna count too. Very close then to that two count. Sokolov pulling Jennifer closer to the corner. Car oh stop. no! Oh my God! Look at Jennifer still with some wherewithal trying to call, crawl to the ropes. Melandra, still wow, what the, heart! We've seen this in that, you know, with the uh, feud with Maya. Valeria just refused, absolutely refused to stay down. There was a few times that Maya even screamed at her, "Just stay down." And Valeria would still crawl back to her feet. Absol wow. You got to think. She has got that same thought process here in this match. She knows that getting this win here, taking that title, is... is Solidifies herself, not only as a two-time champion, but it turns her match at No Man's Land into a title match. Otherwise, she is not in the title picture. She has to earn her way into the title picture, possibly going into Rumble in the Jungle. Very true. But I have heard that through the grapevine that number one contender uh, coming out of No Man's Land is going to be the winner of Alyssa Storm Sophia Tolos next week at No Man's Land. Interesting. Whoever wins that will get to challenge uh, the champion at whomever it happens to be because there's already like two women's matches that are already planned we got the 30 minute iron woman match and 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 we got the like six woman match yes and that six woman match could be a title match um I, or i'm not sure what we do if it's not a title match at this point it's scheduled for a title match unless jennifer b wins here in which the title match is going to be the iron woman match and as Jennifer spills out onto the ring, uh, her chances of title also spill. 
slowly slipping away from Jennifer right now is her title title dreams. Welcome fr from Panama. Thank you for the follow there. Epic, Epico Epic Magnifico. Magnifico. Awesome, sir. Thank you, sir, for the follow. Thank you for joining us here on IWSCT Live, episode 32, one week away from our next major event, No Man's Land. Yes. And Whoa. oh! Just a devastating spine buster right there. So as we were saying, it will either be this woman right there, Melandra, airplane spinning, uh, oh. Jennifer V, defending against five other women next week at No Man's Land, or it will be that woman, Jennifer V, defending, defending against Maya in a 30-woman Iron Man match. 30-minute Iron, Iron Man. Man. Yeah, 30, Iron yes, something yes. like that. Uh-oh. Oh, I thought Valerio was going to go for the pin. Nope. Nope, trying to make a little, or take a little more. Whoop. Oh! Oh! Sokolov on her feet. What? Quick as a hiccup. Goes right into the pin. No! One, two, three. Sokolov Fuck. out of nowhere. Wow! Out of nowhere. Retains. That's a point for me, yes? Yeah, uh, yeah. That's a two points for me. That is two points for you. That puts you ahead. Yes! That puts you ahead. Oh, it's coming home. It's coming home. All right. You unplugged the mic for a second. You. I did, I did. Silly, I did. silly, I did. silly person. How dare you? There we go with the theme music for Melandra. Sorry about that, everyone. So, all right. Since the next match is a fatal four-way, it means it has no DQ. Okay? So the only way that I can retain this title is if Jason Legend wins. And you tie if it. If he loses in any fashion, I lose this belt. The odds are in my favor, 75 to 25. They are. I got this. They are. You I'm are, champ. You, are in the you head. all better recognize. You are ahead in the points at this point. And there is your women's champion, 4 Wait. and O. Oh. Yes, uh, she is 4 and 0. Oh. Hold on a second. Wait. Hold on. Epico? Do I do I know you, Epico? Have we have we done the Dark Souls together? Have I helped you as of late? Sorry, I didn't mean to hit the microphone. I I'm Bink. I'm I'm the Bink Live. Hello. It, it sounds like he's watched you and Onyx play. Okay. Dark Souls. Okay. See, he's a fan of yours already. See, there we go. Okay. I am actually been playing Dark Souls as of more late. I'm sorry, I became Tommy Wiseau there for a Tommy second. Tommy Wiseau, okay. <laughs> Hello, doggy. Uh-oh. Whoa. This was unexpected. I was not... I didn't even know the dragon was it was here today. I... All right. We're going to get a promo. Cole Thomas is going to come out and say a few words. I mean, we know he is guaranteed main event for next week. Oh, yeah. He will face whoever... Well, I mean, whoever wins this match. Yeah. Whoever wins this match coming up. Uh, he's probably got something to say to all four competitors in this match. I'm sure it's pretty much him going to say, I don't care who wins the match. I'm. It's pretty much like you're saying. The title's coming back where it belongs. Blah, 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 blah. Yada, yada, yada. Don't blah, yada. blah, blah me. Egotistical malarkey. Egotistical malarkey. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you for the follow. Awesome, awesome. We, we do absolutely appreciate all of the support, both on all of the channels, including Onyx the Gaming Machine's channel, Bink Deadpool's channel, and our my channel here, Prideful Entertainment. Um, yes, absolutely, thank you. Thank you. I'm just shocked that Sokolov is, is in, in the midst of no man's land, no less. She will defend she is, against five other women. She is undefeated in the midst of no man's land. I, I am being told it is an elimination chamber style match. Ooh. You, I bet she's hoping that she's going to be the last one in that match. 
At least I would. I, I have a feeling that the higher-ups are probably going to put her first or second. She's going to start that matchup. Maybe. Thomas coming out. The Dragon, the hype. Former IWS World Champion. Possibly future as well. Coming out to say some words before the IWS World Championship match that will determine his opponent at No Man's Land. So, just, I thought you were trying to fist bump the TV. No, I'm just like pulling up my little arm thing. My arm was getting cold. Well, I mean... Why does people have a problem with Cole Thomas? I mean, he just wins matches. That's I really did. all that... Ah! I did... Okay, all right, that oh, makes so sense. Did. I did help him. I remember... Yosef, I remember you, man. Yeah, no problem. Oh, he's talking about the higher-ups. He's calling out the higher-ups. Oh, well, you know, he's been honestly manipulating the higher-ups as of late, so... And the higher-ups didn't like it. <laughs> no, they put him in the position he's in right now. And put him through the ringer all month long. I mean, he's been in, in random, pointless matches. I mean, like, him teamed up with the Sensational Aristocrats. Why would anyone think him and Nicholas Pontarelli want to team together? I don't know, but they actually did surprisingly well. <laughs> yeah, they still lost Whoa, to Rashad Wyatt and Tangola. It may, we may not be you know, the w, that organization or in Stanford, but he's kind of calling out. He's definitely calling out management now. Saying that management's trying to hold him down. The, does he forget he has an IWS World Championship match next week at... No man's land. Right, Has he's he probably that? afraid that they're going to throw in some weird stipulation. I mean, there are plenty of people that have been gunning for that championship. I would not be surprised if they turned it into, like, a four-way match or a six-way match or some sort of multi-man match. I'm not surprised there are so many people gunning for the championship. Absolutely. Which right now is un around the unfortunate waste of Jason Legend. Uh, Jason Legend is going to be the prey to these three men coming out. Rashad Wyatt, Ace Campbell, and the former champ, Brent Tolos. Probably the single most talented individual in CT Live at the moment. Agreed. He's held... Uh the IWS Tag Team Championship alongside his friend Jason Flipper. He's also held the IWS World Championship. The only championship he has not held here in IWS is the Hardcore or the Women's, but unfortunately he doesn't qualify well, I mean, qualify he doesn't qualify that. that one, but his sister has held the Women's a, a number of times now. Yes, and from what we've heard, Jason Flipper has started to aim for that hardcore championship she is. himself. So. Fate, though, is still hardcore champion. Um, Bloodburn! Yes, bl sorry. I'm reading chat. I'm looking and interacting with our fans. Yes, I've played Bloodborne as well. I just haven't played it recently because I suck at it. That's but right. uh, I have gotten better with the help of Mr. Bink Deadpool. I've taught him. I've taught him my ways. Well, thank you for joining us, Epico, um, and hopefully you can join us next week uh, at 10 a.m. for C T or IWS No Man's Land. Next week, yes. Next week's going to be an action-packed show. It is Can going to be. Cannot wait. Oh, man. Uh, this is our main event, though, a fatal four-way for the IWS World Wrestling Championship Jason Legend, the current champion, will take on Rashad Wyatt, Ace Campbell, who Jason Legend faced at the finals uh, of at the, the cross brand custom CT cross. Live custom cross brand tournament. Yep. Um, Jason beating Ace Campbell, but Ace Campbell beating Jason Legend two weeks ago at their rematch, Campbell Legend Two. Exactly. Um. Yeah, and then of course the former champ. Brent Tolos, 
like I said, probably the single most talented individual here in the IWS. Oh, yeah. Brent, Brent Tolos is one of the cruxes here, at, I would say, at IWS. Coming out alone here uh, in this match is Sister Nora's brother coming out with him. Uh, all three of them part of the Illuminati. Uh, Mr. James Deadpool here, also an honorary member of the Illuminati. Yeah. So he pretty much sucks up to those guys. I, I don't suck up to them as much as I, you know, I call their matches right down the middle. And uh, I am a, an avid supporter of them. And then being one of the best organization or best stables we have here in IWS, one of the long running stables we've had here in IWS, they've been here since the beginning. Yeah. So, it's the longevity of this stable has been what's been amazing to me. Brent, not only homaging the late great Eddie Guerrero but also probably as talented as uh, Eddie himself. Agreed. Now coming to the ring, Rashad Wyatt. Got another one of the superstars here who's been doing pretty good just hasn't been able to tread the water he needs to actually get a major win but just in the middle of the chaos that is a fatal four-way match Rashad Wyatt could pull out a win and become the IWS world champion going into no man's land he could I, I, you have to think after his speech calling him having the balls you know, if I may speak bluntly here, having the balls to call out the higher up like that in the middle of the ring, in front of everyone live on Twitch. Mm. You gotta be thinking in the mind of all four of these competitors, even if you win this brutal match, you have to face the dragon with that much cojones. That, and you have to think, what are the higher ups gonna do in response to that? That is true. Cole Thomas might have just signed his own death warrant. I, I mean, you got to think they're definitely not going to leave it alone. But uh, you know, like some, like like the hardcore champion, Cole Thomas has never backed down from a fight, even when his loss streak was that of like Roxanne. Yeah, let it, we can't forget that Cole Thomas, when he first showed up here, had. And uh, I believe it was a seven or eight loss record before he got his eight, first. It's like seven or eight and zero. Oh. Yeah, before he got his oh first eight win. or zero oh and seven. And he was number one draft here in the IWS. We all thought Cole Thomas was going to be the, the the first person to hold that belt. You know, the longest. We thought he was going to go everywhere and make so many losses in a row. Yep. Uh, but. Like I said, it's been a long journey for a lot of these competitors here in the IWS. Indeed. And this one, Ace Campbell, starting off uh, his journey here in the uh, beginning of 2018, uh, already shaping up to be a very interesting journey for him. Oh, yes, a master manipulator who Ace of Spades started his year after the Custom Cross Grand Tournament, coming up short of coming up with the win. Pretty much started a feud with the worst person to start a feud, uh, a mind game war with anyway. Uh, the man called Fate. I did not fare well for him. In fact, it left him bloody and broken in the middle of the ring as Fate continued to uh, aggressively retain that hardcore championship. Now, coming out to the ring, sure, IWS World Wrestling Champion. Current, yes, current IWS World Champion, Jason Legend. 
Winner of the first ever custom cross brand tournament. Got his personal logo on that title. Those those side plates. Any of these men take on Cole Thomas next week at No Man's Land. It will. It most certainly will. It's me. And the crowd is settling down as there it is, the IWS World Wrestling Championship. That's what as we said earlier, that's that right there is what all of it's about. That it is. All four of these men pretty much getting ready for this now. And you know, I feel for Jason Legend right now. Because the odds are heavily stacked against him, just like they are for me retaining this championship I was about right to now. say, he doesn't have to even get pinned to lose that title. Brett Tolos might do it to Ace Campbell right there if he doesn't break his arm first. Right. Brent right to Ace Campbell. I think Brent knowing where the weak link in this match might be, or at least that's where at he least feels. That's where he thinks it's possible. Talent-wise, I think Brent has all the all three other competitors beat. Um, I think each one of these competitors, though, well thought out by those uh, higher ups. I will give them props for that. I think all four of these competitors bring something very unique in their individual styles to this match. Agreed, agreed. Oh, oh! Ace Campbell slapping Brent Tolos out of the way. Ooh, Rashad missing with an elbow drop to Jason Legend. It's actually C-A-M-P-B-E-L-L. -L. What? I didn't make, you know, I, I, I didn't, yeah, I'm not his mom. I didn't, you know, I didn't make the birth certificate. I'm yeah. sorry. Campbell. It's Anymore. Campbell. Yeah. Camp Bell. Camp Bell. Yeah. Ace Campbell. As he calls himself, the Ace of Spades. Yep. Better watch out for the IWS champ. Oh, oh nice reversal, though. I was going to say, Ace knows about Jason Legend. They've fought each other twice now. Once, once at the end of the IWS cross-brand tournament, and once again here a couple weeks ago. Uh... In fact, actually, uh, after last week's show, Ace Campbell went to the higher-ups and demanded that he have a one-on-one. -on -one. Wow, Jason Legend with a sneak attack to Brent Tolos. Did he have a one-on-one -on -one title match against Jason Legend, pitching uh, Campbell Legend 3 for the IWS title? Uh, the higher-ups were like, that sounds great, and added Rashad Wyatt and Brent Tolos to the match. I was just about to say, yeah, I remember them announcing that last week, and then... Now we got two more competitors added on. Ooh. Jason throwing Brent right to the post outside of the ring. Not a good thing. No. Both uh, Brent Tolos and Jason Legend, both your pick and my pick on the outside of the ring, both of the two men favored to win this match. Pretty much. Oh, but like I've said, Ace Campbell and Rashad Wyatt. It could happen where either one of them could end up picking up the win. But not like that, Ace. Ace is doing some showboating there on the, the ring. Ooh. Turnbuckle. Paying for it, too. Smart move by Brent letting Rashad attempt to take, you know, control of the champ. Oh. Gets a nice drop kick in before Rashad. Great double team there on the champ. Well, that did not last long. And there the inexperience oh. of Ace Campbell showing. Should have let Brent use his uh, uh, energy to take out Rashad first and then go for a move like that on Brent. That was the stack deck though. He just hit the stack deck on Brent. This Tolo. could be it. Is it it? Is it going to? Oh. Nope. Rashad right there to break it up right after a one count. Now Rashad's got Ace on his back. Oh! And now Legend wow. out of nowhere 
Scott Rashad propped up against the, the ring ropes. Oof. And now just giving him knees wow. right to the gut. Those legendary knees. And a side Russian leg sweep. And now... Brent Tolos. Oh. And they're going to leave the IWS champ all alone in the ring. I wonder if that says a bit of a disrespect to the champ. I don't know. Maybe. Might have been head games, mind games from Ace. Or again, the inexperience. Whoop. And now, Jason Legend kind of pandering the crowd. May not be the best of decisions with Wyatt and Tolos getting into their feet. Uh-oh. Both men sliding into the ring. It looked like almost it almost looked like they are all gonna gun for Jason Legend. Wyatt and Tolos. Oh! oh. <clears throat> Wyatt quick to get Tolos Wyatt, first. Wyatt with the with the submission move. Unfortunately, I think Brent's uh, leg was underneath the rope. I was just about to say Brent's foot was under the rope. Referee with a good sense of uh, mind to do that. Oh, Ace Campbell stacking him up. Stack deck, as he calls it. That's stacking something, all right. Yeah, that wasn't the actual stack deck, but still. Right, that wasn't, <laughs> yeah, right, but. Yeah, he's stacking, stacking the him bodies, up one yeah. way, yeah. Wow. I got gotcha. you. I smell what you're cooking. Uh, that cap place is also taken, so. Oh. Oh, another pop-up European elbow or European uppercut. And now Jason Legend. Oh! oh. With the legendary driver to Brent Tolos. Goes in for the pin. Ace is right there to stop even a one count from happening. Didn't even let the one count happen. Throws the champ out. And I think he realized he was attacking. He was like, oh, no, 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 no. We're not done yet. Could be part of the inexperience, as you said, or... Or just the knowledge be... he has of the current IWS champ. Yeah. They've been in two grueling matches together. Uh-oh, uh -oh. what's Rashad doing here? Oh, my... Wow. He's driving the knee right into the side of the head of Ace. And if this is what we can expect come next week at No Man's Land, match... Oh, my God. This has just been a very physical, physical matchup between these four competitors. There is no allies in this match. Just everyone. There have been small oh. alliances. Oof. What was that? Some sort of zigzag or As something? A zi uh, it was, uh. Oh! Ace Campbell was going for something. Bridge! Bridged it. Two. Oh my. That's the closest we've seen to seeing a new IWS world champion right there. Rashad with that spinning face Ace, buster. Ace was going to go for a DDT on Rashad. Brent with the drop kick, disorienting Ace, allowing Rashad to get the... the... Rashad, Rashad with the, the moment. This is this is your moment, Rashad. Don't waste it. Can you beat Brent Tolos for are this? You, are you going to become the next IWS wow. World Champion? Are we about to see it happen right here? No, Brent. Oh, gets no. Him, ties him up, puts him in. To a sharpshooter. Gets him right into the sharpshooter. Dap! Jason Legend. Jason, oh. Saw Ace Campbell coming into the ring at, right out of the corner of his eye. Again, the animosity between those two men. The veteran of, uh, of Brent Tolos to know to break that hold as... As, uh, as soon as he saw Jason Legend and Ace Campbell coming in the ring, he broke the hold. Oh boy, Brent is going up high. Oh, oh, oh corkscrew. corkscrew backsplash. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, yeah, you had it. Corkscrew backsplash. Two. Only a two count, though. Let's not forget the action going on at ringside, though. Rashad Wyatt and uh, Ace, or I'm sorry, uh, Jason Legend and Ace Campbell uh, duking it out on the outside. I'm surprised Jason Legend gave Brent Tolis the moment that to do that little bit of pandering he did. I think those two are quite focused on each other. Oof. If they're not careful, it's going to cost both of them this match. Again, they pair off Brent. Oh! Oh! That was a 
big DDT, then a dr missile drop kick from Brent. And you can see Jason Legend driving those elbows right into the forehead, the now bloody forehead of Rashad Wyatt. Looks like he might be going for a pin here. Brent doesn't even see it. Two, yeah, he does. Two count only. Brent saving the match for himself. Last possible second. If he'd waited even a second more, Jason Legend would have retained. And I would have retained also. But right now we're seeing the stack oh. deck and a little small power bomb. Into Brent, the pin. Right into the pin. One, two. Rashad with all the heart and desperation he can muster kicking out of that. And you know, I didn't notice it until just now. He actually had his foot over Ace Campbell. So it technically was counting as a double pin. Jason Legend kicked Ace Campbell so that way he broke that pinfall. Rashad kicked out breaking that pinfall. Interesting. That is the first time I've ever seen anything like that. Wow. And that just shows, goes to show you what you will see here in IWS. Things you will never and have never seen anywhere else. Oh boy. Uh oh, Rashad taking aim on former world champion. Oh! Just drives him to the mat with force. That is not, pandering to the crowd at this point was probably not the wisest decision. I mean... Oof. Oh, boxing the ears of Brent Tolos. And then just driving him to the ring before putting him in that, like, crescent oh. stretch. Unfortunately, oh, Jason Legend, Legend taking an Legend. advantage. Two. Oh. Tolos kicking out just in the nick of time. Saving my title. Stack deck again from Ace Campbell. Oh. Wow, two that Rashad Wyatt rolling that right into the pin. That could be it. One, two, three. Ooh. Oh my god, even Brent, Brent was last diving. second. Nearly still unconscious, Brent diving to make that save. Is that veteran instinct now? Oh, Brent has just been busted open by Jason Legend. Every one of these men wants it with every bit of their heart, soul, blood, tears, everything. All those bodily fluids. Oh, and they're all spilling into the ring, too. I don't agree with Ace Campbell's reasoning there. He should have went for the pinfall on Brent, but instead he went outside, and he's still taking his animosity out on Jason Legend. Rashad is apparently out of it on the outside of the ring right now. Legend in the corner. And now the double team from Brent Tolos and Ace Campbell. Oh, oh face buster. Ace. Oh. Oh, and he fell right on Jason Legend. Brent, though. Brent. Top rope. Top rope. What are we going to see here from Brent? Oh, wow. Missile drop kick right to the back of the head. Breaks up at a... Uh, a pinball. Brent at the top of his game here. He's, like you said earlier in this match, he is on a whole different level from these other competitors right now. Wow. Now removing Ace Campbell from the ring. This and could be it. This is, oh, This whoa. could be it. Oh, that's it. This, I think this is it. Brent Tolos is going to finish it. It seems that way. You can see some movement going on between Jason Legend and Ace Campbell on the outside. Brent taking his attention away from Five the shot for a second. Flash? No, missile oh. drop kick right to the chest again. Smart from Brent. The other competitors have moved into the ring. Oh, wow. Rashad attempting to regain some momentum there just, just did not happen. Brent was a huge... Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, a blockbuster. Oh, into the pin. Into the pin. Is this going to be it for Brent Tolos? right there. One, two, two three. three. Brent Tolos. Brent Tolos. God's mine. His yes. IWS 
World Championship, which means I uh, once again lose the OTGM Championship. Brent Tolos, everyone, has won. He is again two-time IWS World Wrestling Championship. We were going to see it next week. Main event. Brent Tolos versus Cole Thomas 2. The Dragon versus the Illuminati. Versus the Dragon Slayer. Yes, the Dragon versus the Dragon Slayer. Wow. There you are, two-time IWS World Wrestling Champion, Brent Tolos, bringing the gold back home to Illuminati. Once again. I am bringing the gold back home to Prideful Entertainment. Or the cardboard. I didn't even... I didn't even get to say goodbye. No. You just ripped you it away from you, me. You didn't have it to begin with. It was mine. It was You were holding it for me. I'll win it back next week. Yeah. You think? You gotta defend it one more time. Oh, I this do. This month. You have to defend it I have it to defend it, and I, 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 have, I was all prepared to defend it at No Man's Land. It was crap I had to try and win it back this week. But, we have had a late show. We are about 45 minutes over our normal spot, which is great because we were an hour behind, and we made a hell of a quick show without, you know, just... Uh, great show. That last match was amazing that was that was amazing spectacular i want to thank everyone who joined us in the crowd in the chat lurked in the stream everyone who followed us everyone uh who supports us in any way thank you everyone thank you onyx uh i want to thank onyx specifically for always 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 being a loyal fan um, you know, joking aside, I like to mess with you a lot, but you really are a loyal fan, so I appreciate the loyalty, man, absolutely, and thanks everyone else for your support. Um, also, please, remember, you are earning prideful points while, wor while watching the stream, and while you worship. can inter- while, while worshiping prideful entertainment and this beautiful title. Uh, you can redeem <laughs> those points for prizes. We have new prizes coming up throughout the month of March, through the month month of March and Munch April. Of March. Munch um, of March. Uh, also, you can um, check us out on YouTube, uh, Prideful Entertainment. You can also check Bink's YouTube page out there. Um, the uh, Yeah, the Bink Live on Twitch. Or you can contact me on Twitter, at the Bink Deadpool. Absolutely. Um, but give, again... Give me words of encouragement in my recent title loss. S send me words of encouragement. Tell him how sucky he was as a champion, and that's why the belt came send, home to send, me. Send hateful tweets to at IronHobbit7. You have a new follower. Thank you, MyYard101, for the new follow on the PlayStation. On the PSN. On the PSN. Um, this has been IWS CT Live, episode 32. And next week, we will have our next major event, no Man's Land. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, it's, it's going to be, be an action-packed show. Anyway, I've been Bing Deadpool. I've been joined by the ever-enigmatic Iron Hobbit, current OTGM champion. And until we see you all in the next stream, later. Eh. Mine. I don't know how to wear The stain is trying to bring it in too